Okay, this is supposed to be a basic overview of Linux Mint 8 for people who haven't used a computer very much or are more used to Windows XP or Windows 7. So first thing that everyone will know is this menu button down here on the bottom left. If you click on that, you'll see you've got all your places. This is all your folders. Most of your files will be in this home folder. Some system things like being able to log out to switch a user or to shut down the computer. And then you've got your favorites here. Firefox for your web browser and Pigeon Internet Messenger for your MSN and Google Talk. If you want to see any other applications sorted by category, just click on all applications here. And you can see all the categories. So with internet, you can get to Firefox this way if you want. If you wanted to add something, to the favorites then you can right mouse click and select, select show in my favorites as you can see it came down the bottom here this and then you can remove them by right mouse clicking and remove from favorites so right mouse click to get it to show in favorites and then you can right mouse click to remove it from favorites have a look at uh, Firefox which is the web browser Firefox has YouTube Sorry, Firefox has Flash already installed, so if you go to youtube.com, you'll find that it works out of the box. So, now for all the kids out there who like MSN Messenger, if we go to Pigeon, and then what we can do is we can add. MSN. You can add ICQ, Google Talk, Facebook. You can create multiple accounts for Pigeon as well. So for people who use Microsoft Office, both Word and Excel, there's an equivalent called OpenOffice Writer and OpenOffice Spreadsheet. I've added them to my favorites here, but in the normal Mint, you'd have to go to All Applications, Office, Go to word processor just down here. So let's just do a little test. Say hello, this is Roland. I'm going to save it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it under my home directory, which is Tux. I'm going to save it under my documents folder. So this will just be a hello again. And what I'll do is I'll save it as a Word document. You can see here. I should save it as a Word document. And I'll also export it directly out as PDF. Now to check that that worked, I'll close this out, go to my home, go to documents, and there's my hello there. And here is my PDF. So I'll also show you the spreadsheet, office spreadsheet. And it's got the same sort of simple functions that Excel has. Equals sum, choose all of these, and I'll do the calculation. Control B for bold, very similar. And that's the same with Open Office Writer as well, the word equivalent. A lot of the, con uh, the shortcut keys are the same. But I want to go back to my favorites and see everything here. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to install new programs. So if you go to the software manager, you can see a list of the programs. Down the bottom here it shows you a little image as to what it might look like. So if we go to Google Earth. And you've also got some reviews here to see if anyone thinks it's any good. I'm going to do a search for something called Dyer. There we go. First, so I select it, I install it, click on install, and then I apply. Now, normally it would ask me to enter in my password again, but I had already entered it in previously. So it's basically downloaded the program and installed it for me from the central internet app store that uh, Ubuntu slash Linux Mint has. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian, and all three operating systems 
have all their software programs stored on the internet so it's very easy for you to download and install programs so once that's installed you should be able to see it on the menu if you go to menu you can actually go down to this little filter and type in DIA and voila we have our program ready to go now if I wasn't sure how to use this filter I would basically be able to just scroll down I think it would be under graphics we go and that's it in terms of a basic overview of Linux Mint if you wanted to know a little bit more there's plenty of forums and there's plenty of uh, things that you could type uh, videos that you could look at on YouTube if you just type in Linux Mint 8 you'll be able to see a lot of, of detail so remember the only the only other thing I would suggest is with the security updates at the bottom here you have a little lock and because the lock is whole it says my system is up to date if this lock was broken it would say that some security updates need to be installed so what you would do is you would click on the lock and you would see some uh, updates here you would select all and then you would install updates it would ask you for a username and password and it would download those updates and fix them up for you and most of the time you would not need to reboot the system but that's it from me I hope you enjoyed it